a mark. That's right, I said it, a mark, and I'm proud to be a mark because I stepped in the fucking ring, took the fucking bumps, and I apologize for the fucking cussing. Which is much more than you could say out there in this world, this podcast world, for all you successful podcasters and all these people with thousands of followers making hundreds and thousands of dollars. Congratulations, man. I love to see people do well. I'm one of those that want to support, and you guys know that I all support you, the ones that are following me, and especially channels that I moderate for, which are many. Huge shows. The number one shows. The best podcasters in this fucking IWC. JD from Off The Script with the Sala Monster and the Shy town Smark. Don Tony and Kevin Castle, DT and KC. Those are the tops. Those are the ones. You could throw in Jim Cornette and Brian Last. You could throw in Dirty Dutch Mantel. You could throw in the PWW, the Pro Wrestling Wire. You could throw in the Wrestling Council with Hollywood and Comic Book Bob. And here's Johnny. I'm all over the place. You guys know that. So again, let me not get off track here. Uh, we'll be here probably for a good... Uh, half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So sit back and relax. Grab a beverage like I just did. And again, I'm going to say that to say this because I tell it like it is. Thank you for being here. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Subscribe. I rate that like button. Share this out. Navigate the playlists. And enjoy the show. The great TV expansion of 1984. The landscape of professional wrestling changed in 1983. Whether the modifications were good for business as a whole remained open to debate. And the answer you received really depended on who you asked. The World Wrestling Federation logo was shining bright in St. Louis and Detroit. Two old-time NWA strongholds.